So, Leanne, I understand that you also you just got back from this rally at the Supreme Court. Members yeah. of Congress and activists got together there at the high court to urge the Senate to pass uh, the For the People Act. I have a feeling they were focusing on one senator in particular. Well, at the rally, they actually switched their attention from Senator Joe Manchin, who has come out and said that he's not going to vote for the For the People Act, and tried to blame Republicans for blocking this legislation. After the rally, I spoke with Senator Warnock, and this is what he told me about Mitch McConnell. I think that uh, the statement, uh, unfortunately, made by the Republican leader on yesterday uh, that says he, he doesn't even want to support John Lewis suggests uh, that they don't understand the moment we're in uh, and that the people are not going to allow this to happen. So we'll, we'll keep fighting. So while they are blaming Republicans, the reality is, is that Senator Joe Manchin is a big blockade to Democrats moving forward on this, because without Joe Manchin, that means Republicans can say there is bipartisan opposition to this legislation. I also asked Warnock and other senators there what their message is to Joe Manchin, and they both said that they wouldn't detail him, but they are having many private conversations with him, trying to convince him to change his mind. The culmination of this rally and this public pressure campaign really for Joe Manchin is going to come at the end of the month when the Senate is expected to vote on the For the People Act, Craig. Leanne Caldwell, a busy Wednesday on the Hill there. Leanne, thank you as always.